Hello. All right. So in order to solve this problem, we will, I just drew a triangle out here for you. Okay. So the, at noon, the distance between A and B is 50 knots. Okay. All right. So then now since A is already west of B, we'll consider west negative and north positive. Okay. And then when, yeah. And then since A is traveling at a constant rate of negative 21 knots, and when it's traveling that for seven hours from noon to 7 p.m., so the dis additional distance travel for A from noon to 7 p.m. is negative 21 knots times seven hours, which we, which which the total distance will be negative 50 knots plus this. All right. Or actually, I should have said miles. But anyway, so that's what so that's the distance of A at 7 p.m. Okay. And then for the distance for B, all right. And since B is at the origin at noon, so then when you type so. And since it's traveling at a constant rate of 15 knots, so then when it travels after 17 hours, the distance traveled will be 15 times seven. Okay, and we know that dB dt is 15. Okay, all right. Now, in order to find z here, I use, in order to find z, we I use the equation z is equal to square root of a squared plus b squared under the Pythagorean theorem, okay? All right, and you could you could figure it out for yourself, okay? And then the answer should be about 223.24 miles. All right, so we know z, b, a, and da, dt, which is written in the problem here, and db, dt, which is 15, which is also in the problem, but we don't, but we want to know what dz, dt is, all right? So in order to solve that, we need to use some calculus here, okay? So, like I said earlier, a squared, plus b squared is equal to z squared, okay? All right, notice that we, that we want to incorporate rates now. So if we take the derivative of, of each term here, then that means we could get our rates too, okay? So then take the, so for example, so when we take the derivative of a squared, you do, it, you do the power rule, so do 2a. Right, and then you take the derivative of a under the chain rule because we're doing it with respect to time. So dA divided by dt. Okay, and you do the same thing for b and c plus two b right plus times db dt, which is also equal to is equal to two z times dz dt. All right. Now notice that the twos on each term can cancel out, so we'll we'll take that away. All right, and since we want to know what dz dt is, or the, the rate at which the distance between the ship is changing at 7 p.m., so we're gonna so we're gonna rearrange this equation, and we're gonna divide z on both sides. Okay. And then if we divide that by z, so this whole thing divided by z will equal dz dt. All right. Okay, and then I'm gonna get out. Of, all right. And notice that you already know what a, d, a, d, t, b, d, b, d, t, and z. So then all you have to do is just substitute each place respectively and you'll get the answer, all right? All right, so I'm gonna get on my calculator and then I'm going to enter all that. So, Okay, and then, and according to my calculator, my answer is twenty-five point five eight seven knots. All right, I hope that helped. Good luck solving other problems, and bye.